Saturday, John Mayaki show. It promises to be another exciting episode of the John Mayaki show. Uh, we are glad to have you on the show. Today, we will be discussing very uh, important uh, um, issue and is the man, Senator Andy Oba. Senator Andy Oba. That is the man we are focusing on this morning. And so we, we say we are unveiling the man, Senator Andy Oba. Um, we, we want to tell you everything about this man. That is the man over there. I'm sure you, you, you all know him. That is the son of the prestigious Oba family. Senator Dr. Namdi Emmanuel Oba. That man was born to Mr. and Mrs. Philip Oba in Enugu on the 14th of December, 1958. That, that, that is a fine gentleman over there. <laughs> Very wonderful, handsome, handsome looking man. His parents hailed from uh, Uga. Uga is around the um, uh, Aguata local government area of Anambra State. Um, he is a survivor of um, the Nigerian Civil War, that the Civil War that claims uh, millions of lives. Gentle, uh, handsome uh, looking. Look at him over there. Senator Dr. Amdi, Namdi Emmanuel Oba enrolled at the Boys High School. Akuna now, in Enugu State, where he sat for his WIAC examination before setting out for the United States of America for his university education. In the United States, Senator Andrew Uba was young and curious, studied geography and urban analysis. And this was at the renowned University of California in Los Angeles. Wonderful. He obtained a bachelor's degree of arts, thus joining a notable list of alumni, including the sitting vice president of the United States of America, Mrs. Kamala Harris. Um, after completing his degree, Senator Andrew Barr uh, settled into life in America, working professionally with the Golden State Mutual Assurance of California and with the support and collaboration of his team, he established a chain of health clinics across the United States and carrying out evaluations for the United States government on compensation claims filed by workers. This program is open for everybody. The, the Zoom link has been sent out Please feel free to join us. Um, if you don't have the Zoom link, you can call us on phone. Uh, if you check our Facebook page, if you are following us live, you, you see the phone number, the studio phone numbers there. You can call and contribute your, your quota to this show. Unveiling the man, Senator Dr. Andy Oba. Notwithstanding his maintained strong ties with Nigeria when he was abroad, when he was in America. He maintained a strong tie with Nigeria. Don't, don't forget, if you are abroad today, please keep a tab at home so that um, you, you are not carried away. You, you, you see the life of this man. Uh, you, you see how he has been able to live a life that is touching to those of them in Nigeria while even abroad. He keenly monitored socio-political events in the country when he was abroad. He contributed to the development of the people in Anambra State. And beyond, through various philanthropic initiatives, you, 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 I'm sure you know him, he participated actively in movements to return democracy and choosing the best political leadership for the country. What else do you want a man to do to support his country? As Nigeria prepared to usher in democracy in 1998, when it became clear that elections would hold during the year, Dr. Andy Uba lent support to the People's Democratic Party. That was the then um, Olusegun Obasanjo stood for election there. And his party won the election 
and that heralded a new phase for the country. We want to appreciate you for that, um, our Senator Dr. Andy Uba. After that party's victory, the new president, Obasanjo, and the leadership of the PDP were unanimous on the need for Dr. Uba to return home and join in the quest of rebuilding the country. Of course, um, he, he, he quite uh, honored that invitation, especially building the economy, which had been run aground by the military at then. Uh, don't forget, he, he, was, he, he was someone as a lawyer and patriotic Nigerian who, who has always, always been guided by the notable and elevated goal of bringing development to the people across the country. He answered the call, of course. He answered the call. He came home. And he was appointed as a special assistant to the president of special duties and domestic affairs handsome looking man. And that is going to be the governor of Anambra State uh, by November 6th when um, they, they conduct the election. When he was a um, special um, assistant on, a, duty, on a special, special assistant to the president on special duties and domestic affairs, he played a prominent role in the major achievements of the then president of Lushegu Obasajo's administration. Now, a firmly established politician, widely admired for his ex exceptional brilliance, widely admired for his devotion to duty, he ran for the office of the governor of Anambra State and won convincingly, although a court ruling on the timing of the election meant that he could not continue in office and serve that term. In 2001, he was elected to the National Assembly, where he represented Anambra South Senatorial District. There, Oba once again proved his mettle, delivering landmark results in his constituency and superintending over a constitutional issues. Name it changes in the process of the constitution. He was there. He was there. He, he, he was very useful in that process, the process that gave birth to electoral reforms in the country and significant progress in the attainment of truly inclusive democracy. If you want to mention, if you want to write the history of Nigeria today concerning the electoral reforms and constitutional reforms, you can, you can mention uh, Senator Andy Obade. As the chairman, then he was chairman of the Senate Committee on INEC, Dr. Oba, alongside his colleagues in the Seventh Senate, who were members of the committee, initiated and sustained robust engagements with the National Electoral Body, INEC. I, I, I want to invite you to join us on this show um, through the Zoom link. If you're watching us, um, you can also join us on Facebook and YouTube, and you can call us. The phone numbers are widely published on the screen. Kindly call us and um, um, contribute to this show. And Uba didn't work alone. He worked with civil society organizations um, in that um, National Assembly where, where they work and rallied the Senate into passing crucial amendments to the 2010 Electoral Act, which structured the leadership of INEC into a better organized INEC into an efficient and independent administrative unit. Um, he, was, he was there. We'll, we'll give that to him. Uh, that is, today, I told you again, we are discussing the man, Senator Andy Oba, unveiling the man, Senator Andy Oba. And, and so the amendments, the amendments also improved the voting process in general. The amendment they did in terms of... Um, electoral reforms, INEC, and all of those. Uh, it improved the voting process in general, with the adoption of initiatives such as continuous voters' registration. Others include expedite petition process. You know, after election in, uh, um, and you're going to court, the expedite petition process was also um, enhanced. And the provision of ballot access to Nigerians living with disability. He, he was involved in that. We, we, we want to thank him for that. All of these were in addition to the important and unprecedented interventions of, um, 
of uh, his intervention he made in his primary constituency. I want to appreciate you, Senator, for, for that wonderful feat. Through his effective representation, Anambra South Senatorial District became a model across the country. Became a model across the country, with many pointing to the changes witnessed there in terms of health, in terms of education, in terms of agriculture, in terms of infrastructure, and other basic amenities as examples of committed leadership. Senator Anduba, we want to appreciate you for that. We want to pray along with you that God um, bless you and uh, keep you uh, for us so that you can impact more on the people of Anambra State. Um, the lines are there. Feel free to call us and uh, join us in this program to celebrate our man, to unveil the APC candidate for Anambra State November 6th governorship election. Um, expectedly, Senator Anduba won re-election in 2015 to the National Assembly and was once again appointed into leadership position. He was the chairman of the Senate Committee on Public Accounts. He was, he was there. Some of the key bills, we'll, we'll just um, let, um, tell you one or two of um, the bills he sponsored um, during that period. A bill, he sponsored a bill for an, um, an act to amend the company's uh, income tax um, act. Yeah, company tax income uh, tax. Yeah. He also sponsored a bill for an act to amend the corrupt practices and other related act. He, he, he did that. You, you see him there at the National Assembly. Um, and he also sponsored a bill for an act to provide for the establishment of a scheme for compensation for criminal injuries and other matters connected therewith. He, he did that. Um, that is not all. He, there was a bill for an act to repeal the Nigerian Railway Corporation Act and to an enact the Nigerian Railway Corporation Bill. And that was to his credit. Along that, he, he also sponsored another bill um, for an act, yeah, an act to amend the Public Holidays Act and other matters connected therewith. There was this bill for an act to establish the Nigerian Infrastructure Fund and other related matters. Uh, he also did the bill for an act to amend the Agricultural Credit Guarantee Scheme. Uh, it, it was a fund act that was um, the yeah, it, yeah, fund act. A bill to enact um, and amend the National Inland Waterways Authority was to his credit. Another bill to his credit include the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Bill. It was um, Senator Andrews uh, Obas' handiwork. I uh, want to appreciate you for there, there was there, there was this bill for an act to establish the National Transport Commission Bill. Um, yeah, that, that is also to his credit. Yeah, and the National Roads Fund Bill. The National Roads Fund Bill. Um, he, he handled that too. The Nigerian Postal Commission Bill. Um, it, it, we, we can't forget that. We can't forget that. There, there, there was this arbitration and, and conciliation act um, repeal reenactment bill. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he also he also handled that. That was his bill. He also co-sponsored bills with other colleagues, notable among them. Among this bill, he co-sponsored co uh, a bill for an act to provide for the prohibition and punishment for electronic fraud. Electronic fraud, as at then, he saw the vision, he saw the need, among others, to, 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 to enact this act, to, pro, to, to provide for the prohibition and punishment for electronic fraud and crime in all electronic transactions in Nigeria and other related matters. That, 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 that is foresight. We appreciate you for that, uh, Senator. Across his constituency, whether in Ihala, whether in Inewi South, whether in Inewi North, whether in Orumba South, whether in Orumba North, Aguata, Akusigo, Senator, Dr. Andy Uba facilitated a broad range of projects. We want to appreciate you for those wonderful projects. Um, if you're watching us live, the phone number to call is right there, published um, or, or online. You, you call us and um, give us your perspective and what you think on the man, Senator Andy Oba. Some of those broad um, projects 
um, um, executed by uh, the senator includes uh, the construction and renovation of classrooms with modern facilities. Yeah, he did that. Electrification through connection to the national grid and provision of power transformers well, was to his credit. He, he executed that. He executed borehole projects and um, he completed them with reticulation, overhead tanks, and stable power source. Um, he, he also achieved that. Solar street lighting and power was um, part of his uh, project. I um, want to appreciate you, Senator. These political journals with the ability to determine the current wind uh, in the country defected to the All Progressive Congress um, that was in 2017 to ensure that its constituency and a number of states remain in sync with the development. There's a caller who picked this call and get back to you shortly. Hello. Yes, sir. Good morning. Yeah, my, thank you yesterday. My name is Tony. I'm coming from Airport Road. Okay. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank I you. also got your response on my uh, WhatsApp page. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I noticed that at the uh, uh, 3 o'clock, you already are with the <laughs> right about 3 o'clock. I will be talking with you. Thank you so very much. Uh, it shows that uh, when a man wants to, wants to pass information, you need to be able to go to it so that you're not to live in the past. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate uh, I, I was put your, uh, I think, I don't know what to say that, uh, you wanted to be talking about the Anambra. Yes, we are discussing Anambra uh, this morning. Um, yes, so uh, I said, okay, I will try to follow you because I have a serious challenge with uh, the way we behave as a people, as a human being. Uh, if you notice, uh, and you better talk about now, have done everything possible uh, to make him part, whether in Nana State or in, as a country. Mm. The one challenge I currently see with uh, some of our politicians is the fact that when you get that exalted office, you will suddenly begin to behave like an emperor, mm. forgetting that when you came as a councillor or a local government chairman, you were trying to make it part, something like did your career. Mm. And uh, after four years, you want to go back to, to that same uh, office of the governor. Yeah. Then you, when your tenure is done, you suddenly forget that after all, I don't need anybody again. Then you find out that you have to go back either to the Senate, or you now think that you can also become the president of the nation. You have to have nothing again to try to become good to the people that you went back to. Yeah. It's a problem that I don't like. For example, you see the, for that one, those people talk about the government of those does not use salary, don't do that. And I think two weeks ago, three weeks ago, or last month, I counted the, the number of vehicles that followed into the government one. They were not two, they were not three, they were not four. And some of them were empty. So what is not different from a man who said that all that were not educated? Uh, you are educated, but you are not even worse than them. So I uh, think uh, what we should look at for someone like Andy Bart is not just enough to get that office. And uh, you don't forget that the politics in the East is somehow very complicated. It doesn't matter how good the man is, and it may not even need your money. But they may just want to thwart your your desire just because they do not like your party or they think that your party has a problem. You understand? So it's something that I'm saying in the East, especially uh, from the eastern part of the country, with the issue with uh, whether AC and AC, uh, APC. So even though this one I would do well, uh, because you see, we don't have an independent candidacy. Uh, you, you need a platform to operate. If we have independent candidacy now, you will say, okay, you don't need any political party. That a good man may find himself in a, in a party that you say is bad. In quote, there's no party that is bad. It's the individual that makes the party. So I think that what uh, I'm not right to do right now is to look out for a man who will be able to deliver on his promise. Or who you can hold responsible. For example, you look at someone like, uh, what was his name now? The former governor, Peter O'P, who you say that he didn't spend money. But how could the man left office? The issue of the drainage system, the irregular, the uh, dumping or refuge, he left them without addressing them. And one day there was a picture of him after he left, was sent to cross, he couldn't find a place to park because he was left. So just like a month after he left office. So we don't want someone who will come and tell us that, oh, I will change you, I will change you. When you get to office and you are not abusing your predecessor, instead of focusing on governance. It's a case study is uh, uh, Joe Biden and uh, Donald Trump. You cannot hear Joe Biden not talking about Donald Trump. Mm. You can see that even Joe Biden is already under fire for even trying to remove uh, Americans from Afghanistan. It's the cut of uh, they are going to right now. That right now people are already abusing him. So what you should be looking at is that when you come to that, office, remember that there is no uh, governor office that can 
Ghana to just oppose what we already see in the two states. That when an Abba want to ask questions, you should be asking, what, this, uh, what you say you want to do if you get his office, are you going to do it in four years or you want to do it in eight years? Because you may not have other four years. Only if you have four years, only this four years, four years, you should concern yourself with. Tell her what you can do with these four years, and if you cannot do it, what you should do. That shows that when you come at it and you want to go to Senate, we may not give you opportunity, or when you say you want to become minister, we will ensure that we, we don't allow you to get that nomination. So these are the things that other people should be asking. And lastly, a man must hold up to his word. And once you say something, you do it. And if you're not able to do it, don't leave, wait for the people to come and meet you. You go back to the court, give them reason why you're not able to deliver on your promise that you say you're good to do, and you try to reschedule or try to redefine the promise that you should. I think this is what makes uh, a man, that's what I respect in my man. Just for example, I sent a man, uh, a man message to remind him that he promised to help us buy school, uh, notebooks for school children. There are some children whose parents cannot pay, not because they, not because they don't have a job, but because of the economic situation, they were able to buy notebooks. You know, I was happy when this guy said to me that, oh, I promise I'll do that, but right now I do not have, I don't have the money. But I, I, uh, I as the day goes by, I see what I can do. And I wrote him back, I said, that's what I, I need a more people to tell me that I can't do it. Not yes, sir. You go and see or do other things to get it done. These are the couple we need in politics. Thank you very much, sir. Wonderful. Thank you for this contribution. We Thank appreciate you, you for joining us on Thank this you, this morning. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you so very much, um, Kola. Uh, he just told us that um, people need to keep their words. Um, when you are running for an election, um, whatever you promise the people you want to do, just keep to your words and make sure um, you, you keep to that. And, and so we want to say, the lines are still free. Um, feel free to call us. Somebody join us on Zoom just now, Mr. Destiny. Destiny, if you want to join us again, um, put your phone on Landscape landscape um so that um uh, you can um, better enjoy the the zoom meeting okay and so as we said um senator andrew Ibad joined the apc in 2017 to ensure that his constituency uh in anambra and the state itself uh, it remain in sync with uh, development at the center at the center that is um, um with the federal government and, um, and that they are well positioned to benefit from the developmental project of the fed of, of, of federal projects and federal interventions. Um, it, that, that, you see, you, you need to you need to you, you need to follow the politics in your country so that your people can benefit. There is another caller who will pick this and get back to you shortly. Yes, sir. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah. I called before. I just finished calling. Uh, Sorry, is my name. Okay. Uh, I want to do a thing something. Somebody sent it me on your on one of you that uh, you should please uh, uh, show them the link so that they can follow you. Oh, on um, you uh, on um, uh, on um, uh, on Zoom. Um, oh, yes. yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Thank please. you. So I'm sure some uh, the people should help you with so that you have, because you will not be able to read that while you are talking. At the same yes. Time. Yes. All right. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, people want to follow us um, on Zoom live. Um, you will, um, yeah, on Zoom. You will um, find that on the Facebook um, page live, so that um, you you can join us from there live, and uh, make your contributions. Uh, as I was saying, um, its purpose for for joining the APC is to make sure that um, the people, the Easterns, the Eastern states um, are, are, are at the federal um, level benefit from federal projects and federal interventions. Um, that is quite, um, quite uh, commendable. He is today the flag bearer of the All Progressive Congress, APC, uh, for the November 21 uh, governorship election in Anambra State. The lines are free. If you, um, call in and uh, make your contribution. We're also going to publish the Zoom link on uh, Facebook so that you, you can um, click on it and join us. Onyeka Okoye, uh, we can see you on um, Zoom. Thank you for joining. As you are joining, join with your audio. Join us with audio so that um, you can go live. And your audio, your video, you, you join with video and audio. Onyeka Okoye, thank you for joining us live on Zoom. Thank you for joining us live on Zoom. The lines are published there. Um, I, I also need to let you know that um, 
there are a lot of factors working for uh, Senator Andrew, but a lot of factors are working for him. If you check Anambra State today, a lot of terrible things going on there, dilapidated roads, decay in infrastructure. You, you, you find out all of those in Anambra State. And so when you have a governor that is already there and cannot show you what he has done, and uh, he, he cannot keep to his promises, electoral promises, and you want to bring in someone, you, 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 are, you are anointing someone to come and take over from you. The people cannot trust you. The people certainly will not trust you. You, you see those pictures over there, those are pictures from Anambra State. Um, the terrible decay, decay in infrastructure. L look at, that is a major road in that state. That is a major road in that state. This will certainly work against the governor. The governor cannot bring a candidate and um, expect the people to vote for that candidate. The people need a change in Anambra State. That, that is what you find. You, you, that's a major road flooded and people suffering. A major road in Aqua. That is in Aqua there. You, you see what is happening in Anambra State. That, that, that is a factor that will work against him and his candidate. Um, people are not finding that um, uh, easy living life in Aqua today. Things are quite difficult in that state. Um, Oyeka, you have not joined us um, with, your, with your video and audio. Hello, Onyeka. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Good morning. Please, join us with your video. Ah, uh, okay. You'll find there, okay. click on video. Okay, live. Make sure there's no noise where you are. Onyeka Okoye. Um, Thank you. Um, we we'll expect you to check um, the technical issues there and uh, join us again. Um, one would have thought that um, the governor's party, Abga, being a divided party, lacking a legally qualified candidate. Yeah, Onyeka, thank you for joining us. So what you do for me now again, make your video stable and then um, make your phone, let your, go, your phone uh, on landscape. Onyeka Okoye, thank you for joining us. Um, okay. That's you trying to... Okay, your phone should be on landscape, on landscape. Yeah, turn your phone, just turn it. Uh, okay, when you, when you are able to do that, we'll, we'll connect you live. So, and so, APGA has no um, particular candidate. We are, we are still waiting for the... Um, best candidate um, for, for Abga, uh, they are battling uh, to get a qualified candidate months to the election, and um, uh, that, that is not going to help um, Abga. Oh, oh, it's okay. Um, they need to put their house in order uh, so that um, they can face the, the, the battle. Come. So, Onyeka Okoye, um, are you there? Onyeka? Onyeka? Hello? Hello? Okay. But we have in Senator Andrew Uba and the APC a united front. A united front. Having a united front um, towards the election uh, will assist you a great deal. And don't forget, he has the backing of the minister, um, uh, Dr. Ngige. He has the backing of um, an endorsement of uh, this, the, the leaders across the state in uh, Anambra State. Um, he has been endorsed and um, if, um, good to go. We have uh, Senator Stella uh, joining us in the APC again, further going to strengthen the party. You, you see, these guys are coming with political clout. They are coming with, with um, a, a lot of uh, capital, political capital, to, to, to prosecute the election and make sure Anambra uh, is in the APC fold and is, is in sync with the federal um, government so that whatever projects um, other states are benefiting, Anambra people can benefit from that. Don't, don't forget, Andrew Ba is also pro a pro-Indigo um, person. 
uh, wherever the Indigo people have problems uh, in Lagos or anywhere, is right there and um, able to stand for them. We have in him a visibly better position APC candidate set to clinch the victory at the poll. Andrew Uba is better positioned as a candidate of the APC other than the Today, you hear the Abga or oh, uh, the other man is the candidate. Tomorrow, oh, you have the other person as the candidate. And so, oh, um, anyway, I, we allow them to settle their, their rift while we coast home to victory. The, this yawning crack in Abga can't help them in any way. A divided house, you understand what, what, that, what, what that means. When you have a divided house, you understand what it means. The APC is the only party presenting his candidate and manifesto to the people. If the man is there, I, I want to do this, I promise you this, I, I will connect you with the federal government, we will bring so-so people, we will bring so-so project, we will do a lot of things, we will do a lot of programs, we will come to that, we will come to the manifestos and the vision statement, the mission and all of those, we will come to that in another program. Um, but today we just want to unveil that man, the handsome man, the man with the house what it takes, to lead the people of Anambra into the into 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 Eldorado. The APC is presenting its candidates with manifesto, presenting Senator Andy Uba with manifesto. Um, Oyeka, are you able to join us now? Can you hear me? Hello, Oyeka. Okay, if you can't hear me, um, uh, get um, get it sorted so that um, we can we can take you live. Um, feel free to call us. The lines are there, published on Facebook. Um, you can also uh, join us on Zoom and um, make your contributions. And so, the manifestos of our of our candidates will, will be will be brought to you subsequently um, in our program. And um, the important stakeholders in the state have joined and key into the APC fold to make sure they deliver um, Senator Andrew Uba on November 6th. Another factor um, that is working for a Senator uh, is the political, as a political giant in the state, is the person of uh, Senator Stella Udua. I just told you that, who joined the party um, just um, yesterday. Um, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, good afternoon. Okay. okay. Hello. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, Onyeka. Hello. Stay stable. Stay stable. Listen. Onyeka, listen to the instruction. Eh? Listen to instruction. You need to stable. Okay. You need to be stable with your phone. You need to be stable with your phone. Be stable with your phone. Don't move anywhere. Sit somewhere. Sit down and be stable with your phone. Let your phone go landscape. Landscape. When I mean landscape, turn your phone. Turn it. Onyeka, if you are listening to me, yes. Okay. Um, Mr. Kenny Isopa, how are you? Good morning this morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thank you so very much. Okay, um, Onyeka, I, I will need you to sort yourself out while I take Mr. Kenny Isopa. Mr. Kenny, um, you are live. Mr. Kenny, you are live. Onyeka, Onyeka, please, you have not uh, taken the instruction. Your phone has to be on landscape mode. Turn it around. Yeah, no, turn, turn your phone. Turn it. Landscape. Landscape. Oh, wonderful. Onyeka, thank you for that. Wonderful. Yes. Yes, wonderful. Um, um, take your phone. Okay. Are you okay there? Yes. Okay, please introduce yourself. Okay, my name is uh, Comrade Onyeka Jonathan Okoye. Yes. Okay. The SSA, the, I'm the chairman of Ibo APC in the States. Okay. And I'm former SSA to 
Adams, Ari Oshunogu, former uh, governor of Oshunogu. Where, where are you speaking from? Where are you speaking from now? I'm speaking from Anambra State. I'm an Anambria, true Anambria. Okay. And I'm here because of the Anambra elections. Yes. The PC Anambra elections. Yes. So I'm the zonal coordinator for now. Who, who are you coordinating for now? Uh, for now, I'm coordinating for. You know, we're marching now. We are, I'm coordinating for Andoba. Yes. So, so Andoba is the candidate of the APC for now. Tell us, do you think what are the factors you think is working for him right there in Anambra State? Yes. As I'm talking to you now, we're in an angry suit in Oka now. We had a meeting yesterday night with all our coordinators for Andoba. The man right here, my beloved family here is uh, Obina. For me here, Comrade Obina. Hello? Your video is not showing. Okay. Yes. So, is one coordinating for you here? Um, you, need to, a... you need to be alone. The other man is not properly dressed. You need to be alone. Let him just live there. You are live across the world. Okay. So go ahead. Okay. So we are really preparing for Satan Yoga because we are already in this game. Because we know who we are driven for terror, African in the state. And the mind what he did now before he became to PDP. Okay, so can you make sure that we deliver him over? Okay, you deliver him. Okay, you want to tell us? Okay, let me pick this call, I'll be back to you. Uh, good morning. Yeah, Mr. John, okay. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, thank you very much. This is Sonny from Ebot Road. Okay. Uh, since somebody joined from uh, Anabra. Yeah. Uh, don't, I, if he's hearing me, or maybe you can help me take some of this note to him. Let them look at this area in Omicha. Okay. Uh, you know, we go to the east to buy goods for sale. Mm. The Togri day is becoming too much. The Togri? Yes. Mm. Uh, you find out that, for example, if you, you know, one of the challenges we are dealing with right now in Omicha is uh, the issue of a uh, bad road, number one. The whole place is smelling. Mm. Then the issue of uh, traffic congestion. Everybody is on his own. Mm. For example, uh, I think on, on Tuesday, a lady did not get to be not arrested here. That's on Wednesday morning. Now my wife came in from on around the 11. Because of the serious traffic that you even need to enter on your body, you have to trend. So bike rider now takes advantage, carrying somebody from a two in the back for 1,500 naira. And if you say you don't want to enter, you want to follow the condition that if you are around the bridge, around it, you may not get to win market around the 1 o'clock. And the one that, uh, that concerns me with the truck now is the fact that if you carry load on a charge cycle, you see all those guys dragging you to collect money for you, otherwise they will throw you all the way. Mm. It's just normal around that, along that route. It's something that we need to look at because when people are saying that, like someone, I saw somebody comment and said that uh, APC will never be voted for or something like that, I told the president that uh, I sent him a mail, please, you need to be more specific. I am not a party, a party politician. I don't belong to any party. But I have my interests. Mm. Since nothing like that. I think that when you say people cannot do anything for so person, you must give us reason. You can't tell eight people with that in cause and you commit to wallow in darkness and poverty and you think that you will come out of it because you don't like a particular man, it will not work. Mm -hmm. Because the man I told you right now is not an equal man 
and in some representing an hand to Uba. So I think that we should look at it and who can to get the job done in the of the your hand and your frustration. Thank you. you understand? So they need to look at that area. It's very it's something that they need to go. If you can look at that alone, number one, the way they threaten people, if you don't give them money, they can throw your load away from the bank. Mm. And you don't have a choice to give them money. Thank you, sir. That one is going on right now, just around the main market area or where you are coming from, market after you are putting your goods. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Wonderful. Togri in Anambra State. Anambra State, um, uh, we have a governor there. Um, he needs to, uh, uh, he has failed in uh, putting this together. Unfortunately, the people. Um, um, uh, did you hear Mr. Onyeka? Yes. Um, I understand there's a lot of Togri in Anambra State. Is the governor doing any? Yes. What do you think the governor is doing to, to better the lives of the people? Do you, why do you think the governor has not put this in, in, in check? Okay, um, with the way I'm seeing things, the government is not doing anything. Like, there are a lot of people shooting there and here. We are looking at him, it's something maybe will help us in a very good day to stop all those things. No, he's not, he's not helping matters. Mm. So, that's why we need change in Anambra State. We really need change in Anambra State. I know uh, we can do about, we can see change in Anambra State. No. Oh, okay. If, if you go to the street, there's a lot of where I live everywhere. Hmm. If you go to a car canal and it's close to where I'm staying now, you will see a cop waker. That will wake up for you for business. Enter up your worker, you will see a lot of ways being undressed, you know. So we are not happy. Mm. We are not very happy. We are not enjoying. Yes, they are not the same. Okay, I will um, um, please uh, ask you if you can assist us do a video. Um, I will talk to you um, if I have your number. I will talk to you if you can assist us do a video so that um, we, we can see how Anambra looks like uh, presently. Okay. If you have a bad road where you go to Abakaniki Street, if you are going to my, my old town, there are no good roads. So I will make sure I do the video. Very, very, very important. Thank you. So that we see the, the, the government is doing anything in Anambra here. Oh. If you the village where I come from, I will look at government. There are no road. The road I have been trying to do from Isu Anocha, that which is my own local government, to Achala. For more than four years, five years now. I've not done anything. Even here, they can't pass through the Sonotan to my own local government, which is actually there are no road there. Thank you. They are you. Us, a lot of things. There are no road. So I will do the video so that when we are talking, we will talk about Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mr. Isopan Kenny, good morning. Good morning, sir. Thank Can you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. First of all, let me join voice with the good people of Anambra State to come out, come out and vote for Senator Infa Inuba. Yes. Because it's the only solution right now. Because the governor there, I, I was in Anambra last week, and it was a terrible situation at the head bridge. Whereby, you're, if, you're, if you are not careful, we will use a razor blade to cut off your bag and pick up your belongings. And I believe that those menace needs to be stopped at this point. Mm -hmm. That's my own little contribution. Uh, wonderful. Thank you so very much. Introduce yourself again, please. Okay. My name is uh, Kenny Isopan. Wonderful. Thank you. Oh, what do you expect the next... Um, um, what do you think um, the next governor in the state can do to better the loss of the people? Okay, by the grace of God Almighty, which we are believing, if Senator Umba is given the mandate to be the governor of Anambra State, it is of my own view and opinion that he, he, should, he should be able to, to put, bring out an agency that will be able to checkmate those, those uh, pull-ups or agros, as they call their self. Be able to checkmate them in an orderly manner. Wonderful. Thank you so very much for this contribution. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much. Wonder, wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.
Okay. Um, the lines are still free. Um, feel free to call us and um, um, contribute to this show. Now, I ask you again, how can a party so much putting a lot of effort and persuading people, persuading people, men and women, youth and the aged, across the nook and cranny of Anambra State, not adhere itself to the people. I, I, Senator Anduba is campaigning. Um, he's getting endorsement from left, right, and center. Uh, he's getting the minister's support. He's getting the senator's support. He's getting the opinion moda support. He's getting support from across political divide. Even Abga um, is getting the campaign from Abga. He's getting PDP to join. I mean, and, and he, he has a manifesto. He's telling the people, this is what I will do differently and all of those. We expect him to simply win the election. You, you can hear the callers. The callers, three of the callers said, um, Anambra is a no-go area. And we cannot allow this to continue. We can't allow this to continue. Um, you, you see the roads, terrible roads, kidnappings, robbery, robbery um, uh, 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 thuggery, hooliganism, uh, uh, flooding, uh, taking over houses on the road. Um, you, you see that picture. Uh, feel free to call us and um, contribute to this uh, show. And so what has caused the disillusionment in the camp of Abga, if you ask me, and um, it's worsening the, the defeat fever uh, in that party, is the tremendous amount of unanimous support Senator Andrew Bar has garnered in the APC. Not just APC, in the South-South. Not just in the South-South, even in Southeast. And then nationally, he demand is positioned. He is positioned. The, the, the man is campaigning. Is getting support from people. What else do you need than that? Than a party that, that has a candidate today, tomorrow they say, no, oh, this is not our candidate. Abga said, oh, the, the other man is our candidate. Tomorrow they say, oh, no, the other man is our candidate. Is that the party that cannot put its, out, its house together that will rule Anambra State? Um, I, I don't think Anambra people want to vote for that. Um, I think they know it is evidence of the goodwill of uh, Senator Andrew Uba enjoys and a precursor to his administration which will leverage this network, the network in the South-South, in the Southeast, at the National, that he will put this together, all this network, to provide good jobs for the people, to marshal investment opportunities for the people, to, to, to bring in the, the, the security for the lives of the people, not just the people, the properties of Anambrans. I, I, I want to appeal to you wherever you are, uh, you, you, you have your voter's card or you don't have, go get a voter's card uh, and um, make sure you, you effect a change in that state. We'll come, uh, we'll, get, we'll, we'll get videos of Anambra, present Anambra, I will show you to, to see how decayed the institution, the infrastructure in Anambra state has become. Um, um, Abga again cannot muster what um, uh, Andy Uba is, is putting on the table. Paraventure, they are able to participate in the election and end the defeat staring at them in the face. Um, uh, uh, they, they, they will keep with that. They, they will go home with that. And um, if they take note, they should take note to, to learn some lessons from the leadership quality and the political dexterity of uh, Senator Andy Uba. Notably, how he has managed to assemble such support within such a short time and uh, beyond the state. We want to appreciate um, Senator Andy Uba for that. And um, um, uh, Kenny uh, Isokwan, are you, are you there? I'm here, sir. Good. Tell us again. Um, give us your last word on, on this show concerning, okay. yes, concerning Senator Andy Uba and the governorship election in Anambra State. Okay, I'm also using this opportunity to call on the good people of Anambra State to come out Emmas during the Anambra State governorship election to vote for a change. Senator Andrew Umba has done a lot for this country, Nigeria, even when he was a senator. So I believe so much in him that he will be able to also do more when he's a governor. Most especially to checkmate those menace that do uncall at the upper Iweka 
on the uh, the, the, the Niger Bridge. Mm. Thank you so thank you so very much. We appreciate your contribution. Um, that that we all on to this edition of the John Mayaki Show. We appreciate the uh, Mr. Koye. We appreciate Isopan. We appreciate uh, the callers. I we want to say uh, we appreciate again and again. Um, we will be getting videos from Anambra and we will keep you updated until you come your way again. Remember that life is a gift and that every opportunity you live. Um, you have to live in this world. You, you, must, you must impact on life. You must touch life because it's an opportunity for you to do something great and then change your destiny. Um, we want to ask you to take charge of yourself, take care of yourself, take charge of your environment, the security situation in your environment, be the police, um, your brother's keeper, and make sure you report anything untoward to the Nigerian Security Force. Take care and bye for now.